Hello everyone, it's me again, GW Fan the Softcore Brony, welcoming you back to Let's Play My Little Pony Fantasy 6. Last time, I kind of forgot something important, and things probably should have gone this way. Alrighty, let's do this a little differently this time, starting with Trixie, who's going to just screw you this guy and be done with it. Instead of my last strategy, we're just going to power our way through this thing. Because that's kind of how I like to do things in this game. Anyway. Oop. If it please. Ow. Ow. I totally forgot I had these espers equipped. Completely slipped my mind last time. Alrighty. This will be over momentarily. Ow. All right, and that's how to do it the quick way. Figured I might as well at least show that. Yeah, I seldom ever use attacking Esper, so it completely slipped my mind. All right, so we're making our way down here today. Well... Yeah, you're not really innocent in all this, Seth. I mean, you experimented on sentient beings, for God's sakes. Alright, if you say so. I still say you're not entirely innocent, though. And before we go anywhere, pick up this other Crusader cape, and we can save if we want to. But, uh, we just picked up a whole bunch of espers. I figure we might as well, uh, go over them right now. So, I've actually already equipped Celestia and Luna here with a couple of espers. Now, of course, we already had Unicorn, and now we also have this non-elemental attack esper, Madwin, who, unlike the original game, teaches us, uh, spells at a rate of times three instead of times two. Pretty cool. Then we have Shout here, who's actually a quite a bit different. Uh, he now teaches, uh, and instead of teaching bio at a rate of times eight, it's now as you see, he no longer teaches us the uh, break spell, and now he also gives us poison and drain, formerly unique to Ramu and Ifrit, respectively. And he even teaches it at a higher rate than Ifrit. So yeah, here's uh, the way you can learn poison if uh, need be for Trixie. Then we have Phantom, which I currently have... Uh, uh, so Luna equipped with, even though I don't really want these spells on her, but you're not going to learn anything in the next area anyway. But uh, anyway, all three of these spells are totally unique to this Esper. Then we got Carmuncle over here, who can... Oh, by the way, this is also a very uh, useful uh, Esper just in its own right. And I forgot to say, uh, Shout here casts Petrify on everything, though it's at a bit of a lower rate than Break. Anyway... Uh, Carbuncle here casts Reflect on the party. It also has the uh, formerly known as Reflect Wall ability, and otherwise is exactly the same. And this is the only Esper that teaches us Wall. And then lastly, we have Bismarck, the Water Elemental Esper. One of the few Water Elements we can actually use in the game. And the only difference here is it teaches us Life instead of Cure. Wow, those are pretty high rates there. Anyway, I've got uh, Celestia equipped with Ramu, even though I considered having her equipped with uh, Phantom, and uh, I, uh, I've honestly, out of all these new ones, I think Carbuncle is the one that you should probably teach Luna. But as I said, in this next area, there's no way you're going to learn any of these new espers uh, by the end. Ah, I see. I'm sure she did. Hmm. 
All right. I mean, I, I know you're her number one fan and are kind of biased, but okay, I'll believe you. Oh crap! Crud. Um. Ah. Reboot the servers. Nice. Pony on! Pony on! Oh, dude. You know, compared to the Magitek research or uh, to the Magitek armor at the beginning of the game, you know, walking through the snow, this just looks pathetic. Uh, alright, let's just have Celestia summon real quick. Finish these guys off. Alright. And we want to cast Vanish first. Oh, we got a Water Scroll. Okay, that's cool. But yeah, that first fight back there, it's actually uh, not r entirely randomly determined. Believe it or not, uh, whoever is leading the party in the very last battle we have in the, in the Magitek Research Facility uh, determines what we'll fight here. And also, those were both uh, the only enemies that we'll fight in this place. There's a couple other very uh, battle formations, but... Uh, Eh, whatever. Anyway, uh, Kaji Docking works great here with Double Earrings Luna, so uh, I would use that instead of abusing uh, Ramu and wasting a lot of MP. Wow, this really does look horrible. That's just ridiculous. Alright, come on, one more. Come on. Any day now. Do we really need to watch this ridiculous scenery? Alrighty, now that we've been in five fights, there's only one thing left. The boss! Number 128! And in this case... Oh, he casts ice! The jerk! Well, oh well. Anyway, we want to steal from this guy, and otherwise we're just gonna summon. Ow. Oh no! You jerk! Wow, they are just being cruel as all heck. Please steal! Thank you, Kogarashi! A relatively uh, rare piece of equipment that uh, I'll be explaining later. Anyway, Bloom's out of it for the rest of the battle. Oh, and by the way, all three of these parts absorb ice, so don't bother summoning Shiva. Oh, wow, that just sucked. Uh, my bad. Well, thanks for trying to steal again. I forgot she was equipped with the Switchblade. I realize now I forgot to show you my equipment setup before I started. I'll just show you after then. Uh, I should be using uh, Hadouken now. I really need to watch Celestia's uh, MP there. If she runs out, it's not gonna—it's still gonna let me try to summon. Man, I can't believe Bloom's berserk. That sucks. Uh-oh. Come on, Hidoken the, the main body! How much MP you got left? There we go, that worked fine. Alright, that wasn't so bad. Woohoo! You used a lot more magic than I was expecting. And yeah, T-Learn Bolt too, alright. All right, that's the end of that. Uh-oh! Whoo! Whoops! My bad! Heh. <laughs> well, I'm gonna make use of this save point up here, and uh, do a little... Well, here's my the equipment setup I had <laughs> for uh, back there. And anyway, uh, I'll see about rearranging some stuff real quick and be right back. Alrighty, I didn't really end up changing anything here. Uh, I did uh, change around their espers a little bit, though. It's like, uh, Luna has Carbuncle now. Now, there's at least one enemy in here we really might want to consider meeting for... Oh! Okay, yeah, there he is! Nice! Why the heck did he do that? That was weird. Yeah, I'll drill him. 
Go ahead, summon afterwards. This should finish him off, and now... These guys show up! However... Alrighty, three magic points, we're gonna gain a level. Alright, what level is she at? 19. Okay, that works. And stop! Wait, wait, before we go any further. Celestia, I want you to have Bismarck. It is important. It is imperative. So let's go. Only now? I mean, how long are we in there? Jeez. Uh, it's complicated. Okay, sure. Works for me. Crud, eh? What do you mean? We've already gotten away. What are you gonna do about it? The heck? The heck? What is this, the crane game? How do you expect to catch us with cranes? We're in an airship. But that is illogical. Come on, give me a break. This is too chaotic even for you, Discord. Yes, we look like we're going so fast. Um... Who turned out the daylight? Luna, are you doing this? No eternal night. Wait. Dude. How the heck did he catch us with cranes? I object! And hey, we got Dash in our party! However, first things first, before I do anything with her, I want to steal from the one on the right. Uh, that's actually rather imperative. Oh, well, before that, here's a, a little gimmick for uh, Dash here and her uh, gamble ability. You see, we've got reels here. It does a whole bunch of stuff here, as you can see. But there's a, a trick to actually, you know, rigging these in your favor. For one, if we pause until there's a diamond or a chocobo at the top and then immediately unpause and press the button, that's a good thing. Because now, we get an automatic diamond. But before I go anywhere else, come on, I still want to steal from the one on the right. Come on, Bloom. Oh, I got it! I got the rare debilitator. Freaking awesome! That's a uh, summon for. Uh, where is it? All right, for uh, or a tool for a bloom. And this should finish it off right here. Uh, don't kill Celestia, please. Eh. See, nice. Discard? What the heck did that even do? Alright, I'll be going over Dash a little bit more in, a, in a, a while here. And this is totally automatic, by the way. Yeah, what about Twy? She's been out of it for quite a while. If Dash doesn't know about the Republic, she has had her head in the clouds for too long. Woohoo! Totally fully automatic still. And yeah, we're just automatically up here. Actually, while I'm up here, can I pick up those two treasure chests that I accidentally forgot way back when? Why? You're still a Rapidash. What the? The heck? What's with the Magicide all of a sudden? What? 
No, uh, I don't think Bloom's your father, Twy. Oh, wait, you're not talking about her. Wait. No, you weren't! I call a lie! And you'll see why in a moment. <laughs> Ah, the Esper world, huh? What the? Who's this? Who's this dude? Why are we him? And he walks really fast. All right. There is uh, absolutely nothing to collect here in the Esper world, which is kind of, which would be kind of silly if it was, since you know there's uh, this is the past, and we could explore all kinds of stuff over here and talk to. Espers, but there's not really a whole lot going on interesting, so, hey. Wait. Madowin? Didn't we just pick up an Esper named Madowin? Leave her here. Wow, that's I can't even believe they give you that option. Let's return together. Wow, the Espers are all weird colors now. Well, even though you said that, I'm going to go bug her anyway. Wow, it looks like... Actually, it looks like Aunt Betty, doesn't it? <laughs> or am I misremembering? Wait, pendant? Wait, you mean the pendant that Twy had? Is this the only instance in the entire game in which that pendant is referenced? Yeah, you sure did. Yep. I tired living in the human world. Wait, 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 back there. Sh shouldn't that have been her that said that? Wait a minute. I and now all of a sudden she's named Twilight. Huh. Actually, no, maybe it wasn't her that said that. Never mind. I uh, it's been a while since I played the original game. Maybe I should have talked to the Elder first. All right, Madwin. Let's uh Uh Hey, talk to me. Talk to me. <laughs> yeah. Wow, you have the worst case of foreshadowing I've ever seen. Youth. He's just a youth, like like uh, Luna was at the beginning of the game. Okay. Wait. Where is this coming from? All of a sudden, Maddie. You know, this has got to be the worst falling in love scene I've ever seen. I mean, seriously, it's like, well, we don't know, unless we try. It's like, oh wait, I suddenly love you. I failed to understand this display of sentiment. <laughs> well, that has all kinds of connotations now, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, okay, fine. And as it turns out, everything you learned about making babies was totally incorrect. They're made totally through magic. Pay no attention to them! We have? Well, Twilight Sparkle. How adorable. Two years later...
The Nexus. That's really awesome. Oh no! Who's speaking, by the way? Well, they didn't really put up much of a fight if the Lamo uh, guards or soldiers can pick them up. Ooh, Gilda. <laughs> you know, her her way of talking totally does not fit the, the mood at all. I love it, though. Pokemon! Anyway. Our little sparkle, that's cute. Wait a sec. She's like two years old now, right? Why is she still being swaddled? This is... Well, fine, it's an RPG. Better yet, it's square. The magic barrier?! It sounds so... flashy, or something. A tempest? Good thing Twy came down to listen to that part just now. Uh, hey there, Twilight! Okay, cool. I'm glad we're, we have your uh, support on this. Well, I'm glad you have such good foresight. Aww. So cute. Yet, totally shouldn't be swaddled. At that age. Well, you suddenly changed your mind. She's been living here for two years! I mean, I suppose there's, you know, that could have been, totally been a setup or something, but still! Get a grip, man! I don't think that's what they want to do, dude. Fairy, why did you let her get away? Oh, great. Well, I'm glad you both have the same thing on your mind. Dang it! Wait, where am I going? Oops. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little lost there. Anyway. De go? De go? What? <laughs> well, why did you let her run past you? Fool! And you're kind of a fool, too! What's up with that? Why did you let her- Uh-oh. Crud, I'm a powerful esper that ran into a bunch of meek so uh, soldiers. This is bad. I couldn't possibly win. Well, I don't think we're so lame if you're being blown away! Ha ha ha! Why am I not being affected by this, by the way? And how are you holding on? I know! Oh, he said that, okay. <laughs> Dude! How did you do that? Where's that motherly strength that, you know, all mothers possess in the times of crisis? Ooh. Yeah, what's the deal? We already know. Oh, that is a bad idea. Oh my gosh! No, wait! Gilda! Oh man! See, she totally did not, was not raised in the Esperbrilla. She was only there for two years. 
By the way, if she was raised in the Empire, why, is it, why doesn't, didn't she inherit their ideals? You'd think she would have if she was there since she was two. Oh well. Logic of a Final Fantasy game always baffles the mind. Oh my gosh, that's horrible, Twy! Oh no! Wow, what a horrible way to reunite with your dad. Really? Well, since we conveniently just lost Trixie and you and her are almost identical, it's convenient that we just got you back now. Wow, so they were, like, tortured for 18 years in that facility. That, wow. Dang. By the way, I believe in the original game, they, uh, Sid tells you, like in the original Japanese version, Sid tells you that there's actually, like, hundreds of espers, uh, in the facility, or something like that. Well, that's totally random. Why do you care what's happening in Neishe, or Neishe, however you say that? Alright. Even Dash is ready to go. Good thing we tricked you with that coin toss. Alright! I have no idea why Celestia just randomly came out. Double inside out loot. Why would you do that on the airship? That would like kill us or something. <laughs> you don't have to give us the operating instructions, but oh well. Here's the operating instructions. This way, I don't have to tell you, I suppose. Even though it's really not that hard to figure out. Okay, simple enough, simple enough. Uh, yes, it's alright. Fine. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right, we can move, like, horizontally and whatnot. Or not horizontal, uh... Yeah, horizontally. Okay. Anyway, you've got a reform party. And a lot of other stuff is going down next time on Let's Play My Little Pony Fantasy 6. Arrivederci!